Let's see who's back. Nah, nah, nah. Back again. Nah, nah, nah. That's from Suicide Squad. Hey guys, it is Sam, and welcome back to today's video. Um, I told myself I was gonna upload every Wednesday, um, beginning of January. It is now March 13th. It is now March 14th, and I haven't uploaded one video in like the longest time, and I am so sorry for that. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, 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 try to, um, upload more often hi babies oh also i never tell you why i'm wearing this so i'm just wearing this shirt because like i have not worn it ever and it's like really cute like but like would i ever wear it to school no because one stress coming in my shoulders are too distracting for boys you see those you see these sexy shoulders are they distracting you are they distracting you now <laughs> Today's video is going to be a story time. Now, I never thought I would do a story time because my life isn't really that interesting. But this time, um, this story time happened with four people and I'm not sure if, I, if I'm if i going to say their names. I'm going to text them right now to ask them if I can say their names in my YouTube video. Okay, so update. They all said I can say their name. Therefore, so, Ella, Rebecca, and Lilani. And these are my two closest friends. Now, all three of us, we're not the type of person that usually cause trouble. So, before this, um... Before I say the story time, we're, we don't ever cause trouble or we're not usually disrespectful. I will sometimes get an attitude. I will admit that. The night before, I was sleeping over at my friend Lilani's house and Rebecca and Ella were having a sleepover at Ella's dad's house. And um, so um, Rebecca and Ella give us a FaceTime call and they're like, hey, you guys want to hang out and come chill with us at the pool? And we're like, yeah, like that's cool. Like, we'll all have fun. So we're all having fun. We're doing our team. You know, we're... We're like goofing around. We bought we, um Lilani's mom bought us um Burger King. Ella didn't want anything. Um, me and Lilani and Rebecca got something because Ella didn't want anything, and the Ella ended up eating my food. It's okay, boo. I love you. But um, so so you know we're chilling, and now here's how the pool is kind of made. So here's the pool area, right? Here's the pool. Well, there's two pools, there, but this pool is the matter. So we're in this pool, right? And then there's kind of like a ledge thing here where water comes out of the spray. So we're like jumping off of the thing, which we always do. And like, we know how to swim. We know how to like do things like we're not gonna drown each other. So we're jumping off of that. And then the manager comes out. No, we jump off of it and then we get in the pool and then the manager comes out or manager or the lady who said, I don't know her name is what she is, but she takes care of the place. And she comes out and she's like, girls don't jump off of there with your parents. And then Ella's dad, I mean, Ella was like, well, my dad's upstairs in his in our in our house, and then I said, "Me, her, and her don't live here." Which I was talking about Rebecca and Lonnie. We don't live here. We're here at a, at a chilling with my friend. So we're chilling. We we're like, okay, like we understand. We won't. And then um, the lady's like, okay, girls, so like you can't jump up there. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we understand. So we we didn't stop jumping off. You know, she's like, where's your parents? And we're like, her dad's upstairs. So she went back in her little office area. So we're not jumping off of this ledge area anymore because we respected her. And we're like, yes, ma'am, like, I understand. So then we're just chilling, right? Um, We're like just swimming in the pool. We're minding our business. And then we get out to lay on those little, those chair thingies. I don't know what they're, the pool chairs. You know what I'm talking about? We go to lay there and like relax for a little bit because we're going to go to the park afterwards and chill at the park because her park is like lit. I've not been in the park a long time. And she's a seesaw. I have not been in a seesaw. Like, I never was on a seesaw as a kid because the parks I went to didn't have a seesaw. That's irrelevant, besides the point. Um, but yeah, so we were, we were like going to dry off a little bit and like put clothes. And like, so we're laying on the thing, on the thingies, you know, the, the pool chair. Um, but we were laying there. And then the lady calls the cops. We see the cops and, and me and Lilani go, well, I didn't see it. Lilani goes, Sam, the cops are here. And I'm like, what did we do wrong? And she was like, maybe it's not for us. Like, maybe it's for the other people. Because there was another family there. Um, but no, so the cop goes and talks to the other family. We're like, okay, so we're good. It wasn't for us. Then the cop comes up. So this is one cop. It's not cops. It's one cop in general. He's a police. He comes up to us. He's like, he's very nice and very, like, you know, kind. Good afternoon, girls. And we go, Hi. Um, he says, how, how old are you? So I said that I was 13. No, I told him I was 14. I'm 13. But I told him I was 14 because I look 14. And I mean, like, okay, I did lie to the cops. That's bad. I did say I was 14, though. And I mean, I know it's bad that I lied. But honestly, though, 
I look 14 and it's not like I'm 12. It's not like I'm 10 or 8 and I'm going to drown myself, bro. So I said I'm 14 and my friend Rebecca said she was 12 because she is 12. And, and then my friend Ella said she was 13 and so did um, my friend Alani. So we all said we were 13, around 13, 13, 14, 12. So 12, 13, 14. So then the cop kindly explained to us that we're not allowed to be there without an adult, which we already knew because the manager explained to us. But the manager told us in a very rude way. So we're like, oh, okay. So we leave. We leave it. Like, he told us, like, you can't be here without an adult. So we leave. Now, keep in mind, she called the police to kick us out of a pool. There could be someone robbing a bank, someone about to kill someone, something found a girl on the street and raping her, or just something like that, more important. And she called the cops. The cops could have saved her life, but no, you called them to make us kick out of the pool. You could have politely chose, like, bro, like, go, go, you can't be here without an adult. Like, you guys gotta go. Like, no, you couldn't do that yourself. You had to call the police. You had to be extra and call the police. You, she didn't have to do that. So, anyway, that's, it didn't end there. So, we're walking. We go to, um, the park where we were originally going to go. Like, we were going to go there anyways. Like, it didn't matter. Not late, but, like, the time time goes by when you're having fun so we're running and rebecca steps her toe that's besides the point so then we go in the park we chill in the park a little bit and then we decide to walk back to ella's house or her apartment so then the manager oh keep in mind i forgot to say this when the police was talking to us really nicely the manager gave me a dirty look and i don't know why but she gave me a dirty look she gave me ella a dirty look no me and alani a dirty look um and then, and then Lonnie, um, Lonnie yelled out, is it because I'm black? And then that's why we started running, because I was like, oh, Lonnie. Um, but no, um, so, um, so yeah, the manager was really mad that the police didn't, like, yell at us. Like, the police was really nice and really respectful. And the manager got really mad that he wasn't, like, mean to us. So we're walking, we're, we're, like, walking to, um, the house. And then the manager, the little petty manager, comes in her little go cart like, where do you guys live? And we're like, what are we doing? Now, keep in mind, I was trying to keep my cool. And I was like, what are we doing wrong? Now, I get an attitude sometimes. And my mom has told me this, like, a lot. Like, and I try, I'm trying, I try to keep my attitude. I have a very bad attitude sometimes especially if we if I did nothing wrong and if I feel like I did something right I will stand up for what I believe is right and I will not quit so I usually don't fight with someone or argue with someone unless I have unless I'm right and I I will admit sometimes I'm wrong I'll be like okay yeah I'm wrong I will admit when I'm wrong but there's times where I was right keep in mind we did nothing when she told us to get off of that thingy we stopped and we just started swimming around and then um we were doing nothing. We just went to the park and we're walking around. We can't walk around. We did nothing. She had no reason to call the cops. She had no reason to follow us. That's called stalking. So she comes up in her little go kart like, where do you guys live? And I was like, what are we doing wrong? We can't just walk around. And then Rebecca, she's scared. I'm not scared of this girl. This girl can't do anything to me. What you gonna do? You gonna put me in jail? You can't put me in jail for walking. We're walking. You can't put us anywhere. You can't take us anywhere because we're walking. We did nothing wrong. So when the police told us we had to exit the pool, we exited the pool. Now maybe she got mad at us because she said she, well, honestly, she was black, but honestly, like it was a joke, bro. Like so, but it wasn't like right away she came after us. This was like 10, 20 minutes later. She came, and her, so she comes, she's like, where do you live? And I'm like, what are we doing? We can't just walk? Like, we're walking, and Rebecca's like, Sim, shh. And I was like, what? I I'm telling you the truth. We're just walking. We're not doing anything wrong, and you're following us. And she's like, just tell me where I live. And then Lani goes, we're not supposed, <laughs> it's so funny, bro. She goes, we're not supposed to tell strangers where we live. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Dude, I'm not a stranger. I am the manager. I'm like, and then Lilani goes, that don't matter. We're not allowed to tell you where I live. And then, and then I start going off on her. And I'm just like, we're just walking. What are we doing wrong? Like, I understand we jumped off the thing, but we're just walking. What you want to do? You, like, want to stalk us? Like, why do you want to know where we live? And so, 
I'm giving her attitude because we did nothing wrong. Okay, maybe we did something wrong. Maybe if we came back to the pool alone without an adult after that, she has the right. But we didn't do anything wrong. So, so I'm like going off with her. And then she's like, what's your apartment number? And I'm like, what do you want to know? We can't tell you that. And me and Lelani are kind of like, Going, I can see Ella in the corner of my eye. Like, she's mad. She wants to yell at this lady. She's about to blow her head off. And then, and then Rebecca go tells her the apartment number. And then she goes, which one of y'all live here? And then we, we both all point at Ella because Ella lives here. Excuse me. And so, then she gets to me. Me! Me, out there are four girls there. Me, Ella, Rebecca, and Lani. And she points at me. And she goes, Yo, she lives here, okay? You better not be getting her in trouble, okay? I'm like, okay, we didn't do anything wrong. She's like, you think you're slick? And she started yelling at me. She's like, you think you're slick? You think you're slick? And I was like, no. What did I do to think I was slick? We didn't. yelling at me and the rebel saying yes ma'am yes ma'am and I was there like what did I do wrong girl I didn't do anything wrong no I did not do anything wrong we we were just walking and swimming last time I checked oh, that is not illegal we, were we doing drugs no were we drinking alcohol under the age no were we driving no were we out stealing no we were just walking to the park and before we were swimming in the pool so um so then we're like we like walk we she drives on her go kind of like a little golf cart <laughs> so then um we go up we're like about to go to ella's apartment again anyway, we're like running away. so then after that we go back in the house and then her dad, like, basically the manager lady went to go talk to her dad. And we come in, in the in the house, right? Her dad is completely chill about it. But he's, like, 100% chill about it. He's like, girls, like, just don't do it again. And then me, Ella, and Rebecca, and Lana, we all start talking at the same time. Ella's like, I was about to scream. Like, I was supposed to lose my patient. And Lana was like, Lana was over here. Like, we did nothing wrong. We were just swimming. And Rebecca was like, I was like, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. And Sam was yelling at her. I was like, yes. Okay, like, I'll admit, I was, I had an attitude with her because we did nothing wrong. And then her dad goes, no, Ella's sister, who's in her house, goes, guys, talk one at a time. So Rebecca talks, I talk, and blah, blah, blah. So then we go back to the pool, but this time we go with um, Ella's older sister, who is 16, and the pool rules say you have to be older than 15, and yes, she is 16 pool manager, so hot fight me. But yeah, we go there, and this manager gives me, Ella, Lilani, and Rebecca the, like, the death stare. Like, she's looking, like, she's looking at the corner of her eyes, like, she's planning to kill us. And she can, like... My biggest pet peeve is when someone goes like this. Like, if you're going to look at me, just say hey or just say something. Girl, don't look at me. Like, take a picture and last longer. Like, no, no. She uses the biggest, like, ugh, side eye. And I'm uh, like, so then uh, Rebecca was like, Sam, I dare you to wave. Well, I said to Rebecca, I dare you to say hi to her. Like, wave hi to her. She's like, no, you do that. Like, hey. And then, like, she looked at me, she's like, I was like, I'm just being friendly. <laughs> but, yeah, that's my story time. The cops came. Really dramatic. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if any situation like this happened to you before. And if it did, you know, just, like, comment how you dealt with it and stuff like that. And subscribe down below if you are not subscribed already. And, yeah, I'm going to do a room tour. Someone did tell, ask me to do a room tour, and I am. Um... I'm going to do it, I promise. And I also want to do a morning routine and night routine. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, I promise I will upload more. I love you all. Bye.